Are you considering bringing Earth Force's community action and problem-solving process into your classroom, but worry about adding yet another thing to your day? This video will help you think about how to align the process with what you're already teaching, creating a seamless integration into your classroom. The community action and problem-solving process allows students to identify, research, and address environmental issues in their communities. In each step, from the inventory, where students identify environmental issues, to selecting one to research, then deciding how to address it, their voice is at the heart of this process. So how do you honor youth voice, yet still meet the needs of your curriculum? Some thoughtful planning can help with that. You will want to decide on the best way to integrate the process. Do you teach a science course and want to link it to a specific unit? Perhaps you're an elementary teacher and you'd like to build it into several subject areas. Or maybe you'd like to add it into a civics or social studies class. All of these are possible, but you should consider the following questions. How much time do you have? The deepest learning occurs when students have at least 10 to 12 lessons in which to complete the process. Is this a team effort? Cross-curricular implementation can be powerful, but can also mean that you have less flexibility with your timing. What are you already teaching? Take some time to think about this and ask your Earth Force contact for support. Some connections are easier to make than others, but you will soon see that there are endless possibilities. Say you are teaching ecology. Your students could examine how aquatic ecosystems are impacted by environmental factors. If you were teaching biology, students could look at molecular states of matter and how they relate to composting. Engineering students could study the infrastructure of stormwater systems and how engineering can be used for water conservation. Once you know the curriculum connection you need to make, it's easy to use your content as a way to frame the process. You can start by building background knowledge before asking students to identify issues. For example, if students are learning about ecology, you might build a foundation by teaching about aquatic ecosystems. Students can apply that knowledge to examine the ecosystems in their own backyard during the inventory. What habitats exist or don't? What are indicators of unhealthy habitats? What evidence do they see of negative impacts on the nearby aquatic ecosystems? Connecting to your curriculum will also help you determine inventory methods. Using the lens of aquatic ecosystems, students could connect with local biologists who study them or identify which plants are native and which are invasive. Students can also talk with their local stormwater authority to learn more about how those systems protect the waterways and their ecosystems. Each of these activities can lead students to identifying issues related to aquatic ecosystems in their own community. Framing the inventory with your existing curriculum and building background knowledge will help students identify concise issues, leading to more focused research down the road. For more on how to plan for and support the Earth Force experience, visit earthforce.org resources. Created using Powtoon.